Okay, this is it. The final frontier. We are finally entering the last room before you see the credits. I kid you not. And there he is. Right over there, it's N! But I desire a world for Pokemon and Pokemon alone. I will separate Pokemon from people so Pokemon can retain their original power. It's time to settle this once and for all. My determination is absolute. I will prove the value of my beliefs. I believe you are equally determined. If that's so, prove it to me. Show me the depth of your determination. All right, fine, I will. Wow, you really jumped there fast. You came all this way to battle me, but Zekrom is not responding. You haven't been recognized as a hero, have you? How disappointing. I actually kind of liked you a little through our many battles. I got the feeling you might be a trainer who truly cares for Pokemon. No, but I was kidding myself. The ideas of trainers getting to know each other is ridiculous. You have two options. Challenge me to a fight you can't win, or leave this place and watch the birth of a new world where Pokemon are free of people. Reshiram, come to me! Man, I love Reshiram, it's so awesome! Um, anyway, uh, hmm, what was that? Dark Stone is trembling inside the bag! Oh my. Your Dark Stone is. I mean, Zekrom is! Dark Stone draws in the aura of the surroundings and converts it into a powerful force, which is now being released! Okay, that was pretty awesome too, I gotta say. Ashram and Zekrom, they were both, or they were once one life, one Pokemon, complete opposites yet the same. Ashram and Zekrom are Pokemon that recognize people. You really are a hero too. I'll tell you what that Pokemon's saying to you. I want to battle with you. Try to make me your friend and ally. Come at me. Uh, I also am curious to see how you will do, etc. Now, catch it. All right. Um, so this is it. Ah! Zekrom, the legendary Pokemon of the game. The legendary Pokemon of the game. Or at least Pokemon White. Um, obviously, if you're playing Pokemon Black, the roles will be reversed. You'll be trying to catch Reshiram instead. But you get the idea. Um, oh, snap. So this is it. This is the big legendary, and it's at level 50. Now, Zekrom is an electric dragon type, making it very interesting. Um, as far as typing goes, it's weak to ground, obviously, and dragon, and ice, but that's about it. It's not too, uh, it's not too weak to stuff. That's some powerful attacks, as you can see. Um, I mean, nothing that's quite taken out my Manta Blade, but, uh-oh, no! Critical hit! Ah! Zekrom! What do I do now? I didn't catch it. How will I be the hero? Well, don't worry. If you happen to knock it out by accident, it'll just gaze at you and say, Try to catch me. Just come on, try and do it. So, you get to try again. You can't knock out the legendary Pokemon you're gonna fight. You can't knock out Zekrom or Reshiram. You have to catch them. Um, so if you get an unfortunate critical hit like that, or what have you, um, it's not the end of the world. You don't have to restart. You just have to try again. You have to heal your Pokemon between fights, though. 
Uh, what happens if you run out of Pokeballs? Well, you can just run away and then talk to the Plasma Grunt, go out and buy more. I showed you that in the last episode. And, uh, whoops, not quite enough. Um, opening the fight with a Quick Ball is a really good idea. Zekrom and Reshiram, they're about as difficult to catch as, say, Gyarados. So, you don't need to use your Master Ball. In fact, I highly recommend you don't use... <laughs> another critical hit. I highly recommend you don't use your Master Ball, because really there are so many other things you could be using that on when these two are very easy to catch. And even if you knock them out, um, you can still catch them again or have another chance to catch them. So that's why I don't recommend it. Um, however, you do want to make sure that they're properly weakened and stuff, so you'll be able to catch them a little bit easier. Um, try to get it into the red if you can, and then just lob Ultra Balls or pretty much whatever. I don't know if this constitutes as a dark place or not, but you shouldn't have too much difficulty catching it in an Ultra Ball. Oh! Whoops! Oh, snap. Totally forgot. <laughs> That was a dumb move. I just sent out Judo Mario because he can take some hits. Um, oh well, you know what? I can obviously just try again. I'm going to try a different approach here because um, these other ones aren't going too well. Hey, at least it gives you a chance to see Zekrom, right? Rather than me just catching it in one ball. Um, I guess you get to see a little bit more of it that way. Even though this is just comically entertaining that it's taken me three tries. Um, obviously, it's not that difficult to catch but I'm just playing around. Okay, so again, let's open up with that quick ball because that's a good, quick way to try and catch it. If it works, great. If it doesn't, oh well, you're out a thousand bucks. Big deal. Um, ooh, there's its signature attack, Fusion Bolt. Now, this thing does a lot of damage. It's a 100 power physical-based attack, but it's also electric type, so it's really good. Um, but if it's used on the same turn as Fusion Flare or whatever, I think it does, like, a lot more or something. It, I don't really find the synergy of that all that grand because both of the two are resistant to each other. So it's like, oh, whatever. Does that really matter? But, oh, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be too, uh, too critical, I guess. Okay, so it's just spam Fusion Bolt in me. Wow. So strong. It's definitely the strongest attack Zekrom has in its repertoire, so be wary. Um, it can do a lot of damage if you're not prepared. See, Manta Blade was resistant to it, so that's probably why Zekrom decided not to use it against uh, Manta Blade. Okay, Hope, come on, you can do it! Hopefully I don't get a critical hit. I mean, Hope is pretty good at landing critical hits. Not the one time I don't want one. Alright, well that's sufficient, I'd say. No more stupid moves, and maybe I'll finally catch this thing. Alright, come on. Let's try it. Okay, Ultra Ball, do your stuff. Awesome, there we go. Zekrom was caught. Sweet. Okay, so, it's a deep black Pokemon. It appears in Legends. In its tail, it has a giant generator that creates electricity. Sweet. Okay, so, it'll be sent to Amini's PC, but you can add it to your party right away. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. Just say no, and then say yes. And then it will not add Zekrom to your party. Otherwise, you have the option to send one of your Pokemon back um, to the PC and switch in Zekrom, who will automatically um, be placed in the first slot of your party. So keep that in mind. I'm going to use it just because it's more epic that way, but you don't have to. So let's see what happens next time.